What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Today we're gonna take you into the PvP realm with a balance of power. Those new exotic lights for double down with those threaded specters. They are super, super meta inside of the Crucible as well as that nice new helm of the speaker helmet for the Warlock. Absolutely destroying the meta with these two on those two subclasses so let's get right into this build we're going to be using the prismatic subclass with this double down perk on our new exotic your threaded specters have an increased duration durability and damaging it releases additional threadlings so it is even more juicy than it was before while near your threaded specter we also don't appear on the radar which is absolutely disgusting if you are trying to run from an enemy you go one way dodge you leave your threaded specter behind they see that threaded specter on the radar not you even when you're shooting and then you can just clobber them whether it be shotgun hand cannon whatever you are using i will go over my weapons that i was but these boots are absolutely disgusting now you're definitely gonna make a lot of folks mad with this build and i totally understand why because these specters are nasty but we're gonna go with storm's edge because this thing as well is like a little thunder crash in its own having three of them you can traverse the map with it got an annihilation in the gameplay because they were bunched up so you can see why this thing is disgusting now for me i went with marksman's dodge as well as strafe jump with threaded specter as well as swarm grenade for the melee you could go with really any of these the snare bomb is pretty solid as well as for grenade the dusk field very good at holding enemies in spot but i like this for our damage potential Potential, especially since we got this threaded specter so when we dodge we get that nice strand person that stands there for you exploding dealing damage by itself as well as creating threadlings with the boots it'll create even more threadlings when you shoot it plus we're using a strand weapon on top of that for me i'm gonna throw on winter shroud with this because when we dodge near those targets we're also slowing them so on top of being able to create that threaded specter explosion and threadlings we're gonna be able to slow them so they're not gonna be able to jump away quick enough really so you can get that damage and then hit them once with a melee or a gun and they are just totally thrown off with the combination of the two as for our fragments we got six of them down here we're using fragment of blessing so melee final blows start that health regen for us while transcendent melee energy final blows give that to us as well as our fellow guardians while surrounded you are more resistant to in coming damage while we are transcendent this is more in effect we get transcendent about two times a match at least for me depending on the shots that we are hitting and ammo economy of our weapons facet of devotion defeating targets affected by stasis or strand debuffs grants us that light transcendent energy so we're getting both of those very easily with our threaded specter with our winter shroud as well as this because it does sever those enemies as well facet of hope right here is number four while we have an elemental buff our class ability regens more quickly so you can see all of the buffs that we have amplified cure radiant restoration devour invisibility overshield frost armor and woven mail with this we're going to get overshield as well as radiant because of our uh, artifact that we have on but this is super super nice for the crucible in my personal opinion facet of ruin right here those stasis shards when they explode or those frozen and targets have a bigger aoe we're gonna get this sometimes when we freeze targets or if you're using the dodge with something like the dust field grenade this will definitely come in more handy but people are getting frozen all the time in the crucible right at this moment and then last but not least we got the facet of courage so our arc solar void abilities deal increased damage to those targets affected by the darkness debuffs so our grenade is going to do a bunch of damage on the targets affected by our sever threaded spec or our winter shroud so it rounds out the subclass absolutely perfect now as for the mods and stats that i built this out into like i said we're going to be able to dodge consistently basically every single 10 seconds with this if not faster creating those juicy threaded specters every single time for me i went with 100 mobility as my first option 100 discipline as my second because of that nice 
debuff that we get with Facet of Courage, being able to do more damage with that grenade. And then last, I tried to get recovery as high as I could because you want your health to regen as fast as possible inside of the Crucible. As for our mods that we went on, on our helmet, I went with double strand targeting as well as unflinching on our chest piece right here with the other option for my sniper rifle instead of a shotgun. I was using double unflinching solar because it was a solar weapon as well as one of each for the targeting mods. Now I went with powerful friends as well. So when we pick up those orbs, not only are we getting that charge with light with that armored charge, but also our fellow guardians. Next on the list, we're gonna have that strand loader for our hand cannon because we're using a 120 as well as bolstering detonation fastball. I really like fastball personal preference, totally up to you, but I like this grenade part because we're getting our threaded specter back even faster with all the grenades that we're going to be able to get on this build. Now, as for the legs, picking up those orbs of power are also going to grant us uh, all of our ability powers right here with orbs of restoration, absolution, as well as recuperation. We're going to get back a little bit of that damage as well. So we're going to be able to stay alive even longer in that end game activities like trials as well as comp. Last but not least, when we dodge, we're going to have double bomber on to get our grenade back a little bit faster as well as reaper right here so we can get more orbs of power to proc get that charge with light as well as give it to our fellow guardians now when we move on to our weapon choices i was going with this nice little butter devils right here for this new weapon or i should say reprised weapon that is now strand through on icarus it's got perfect float explosive payload there's definitely better rolls but i was really liking this thing 100 percent with this build especially with the combination that we got with destroying those strand threaded specters very quickly with the strand weapon duality was my shotgun that i was using for this build when i was getting up close and personal and then i was actually really liking the still hunt as a sniper rifle inside of the crucible had some pretty good bops with it and that's what i was using when i had that solar targeting on flinching solar but when i was using the shotgun these were both strand as well as these as for our heavy i went with the karate fact gl right here paired with that strand synergy of the build destroying those threaded specters but you could go with something like hammerhead personal choice for the heavy slot pro memoria also a good choice but again totally totally up to you now last but certainly not least on our hunter's journal not going to be using too much on this just a few of these things first off shield crusher we're going to get that nice grenade energy back when we're radiant or amplified as well as our melee while we have overshield frozen mail and frost armor radiant be getting right here with the radiant orbs because we're using prismatic subclass so picking up orbs makes us radiant as well as gives us the overshield which will help us to proc this giving us a little bit more of that ability spam we're going to be using creeping chill just in case we get any of those freezes on those enemies we might be able to get some nice explodes on those freeze those enemies but we're not really using stasis weapons unless you throw on one for your heavy slot right here is a pretty important one in my opinion threaded blast we're going to be able to create some tangles around this map when we are using either our sever on our melee or with those threaded specters so shooting it with our better devils is going to create a nice big explosion very easy to get some of those defeats with this and then last but not least right here this is another way that we're going to be able to get some of those elemental pickups with us because it'll match our super inside of that kinetic weapon if you will we're going to get some of those arc charges so love love the combination of this build not too much on our hunter's journal but overall this build absolutely was dapping up guardians threaded specters are super op for sure they are absolutely disgusting you could throw on six coyote get two of them but being able to go off of radar, have more damage, and produce more threadlings with this on the Prismatic subclass is super disgusting. Went super positive in both my comp matches. Won one, lost one. My teammates in the first one had a 0.8, 1.0, and I went 2.5, so can't really do anything about that. But hopefully you hunters like this build. These boots are very, very fun to do and use very easy. Definitely the meta right now from what I've seen what i've played over trials and inside a comp a lot of that solar warlock with the speaker's helm as well as a lot of hunters using these boots
boots, as well as six coyotes. So hopefully you guys can give this a try, test it out. I totally, totally think this is worth the shot, especially if you're not a Crucible main, makes it easy for everybody. So appreciate all that support. I will catch you guys in the next one tomorrow. Peace.